day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. I was going to bring you an update here on uh, Oxley. Um, I come across something yesterday and just kind of flaked it off and didn't get it done. And then I had a comment today uh, saying, hey, do a uh, update on uh, Oxley. So I uh, thank you uh, for putting that in the uh, comments and uh, kicking me in the butt and uh, <laughs> saying, hey, get it out there. So, uh, But you're going to need to put your... Uh, graduation cap and gun on for this one and uh, you'll see why but uh, this is Oxley I went over this a couple times here it looks like about uh, two weeks ago back on the uh, 14th and um, you can get a little bit more in depth on a uh, little bit more about the uh, company but you can see it's in the uh, MJ field uh, it's one of my uh, favorites that we like to talk about here on the uh, channel so uh, ticker is CBW TF um, and this one trades over the counter so if you're looking to get this one you'd have to get it on uh, uh, I always recommend Fidelity first if you can't get it there try uh, TD Ameritrade uh, you can't get this one on uh, Robinhood uh, um, I don't think you can get it on Weeble but um, um, I haven't tried to get it on Weeble so uh, but anyway uh, back to uh, Oxley uh, you can see what it's done here over the uh, last month and um, it should come up here any second so um, but again uh, like I said I've made uh, two other videos back on this uh, looks like back on the 14th I'll go ahead and uh, link those and I'll link those in the uh, description as well but you can see what it's kind of done here over the uh, last month just kind of up and down in the uh, 20 cent range um, 28 26 27 I uh, could have got it here I was actually up on the uh, fifth a little bit uh, well it was dipped on the uh, fourth the uh, fourth and the fifth if you remember everything was in the red and had kind of a nice uh, run-up 27 to 32 since then and been kind of coming down so this one's kind of all over the place so if you're looking to get into this one as you can see it's up and down up and down um, these are a long-term play for myself and the volume pumping in there and everything um, again they don't give tax legal or trading advice you'd have to do your own due diligence on this one but as you can see it's kind of up and down and so if you can buy the dips uh, that's what I always recommend to do but uh, and again I don't uh, tell you when to buy or sell but uh, this is their actual uh, website uh, but like I said, these are a long-term play for me, so. Oxley's vision is to be a global leader in branded MJ products and to deliver on our consumer promise, quality, safety, and efficacy. And I, like I said, I made uh, two other videos. Uh, they go a little bit more in depth, um, just kind of going through the uh, website here as we speak. Uh, but you see they have the oil. They have a couple of their different brands, a Robinson's and Foray brand. Our cornerstone brands are strategically positioned to capture the interest of a rapidly growing global market. And right there you have it, uh, one of the uh, big catalysts for me, and that's why I'm in these uh, for the long term, um, is the rapidly growing global market. As I've pointed out on several videos, each here there's about three to five different uh, or I should say states that are added whether it be uh, medicinally or recreationally and so I feel in a way you're getting in on the uh, ground floor on some of these so because these are at least a two probably more like a five or even a ten year play for myself so uh, but right here some uh, good news um, I don't think I covered nope these were after the video that I uh, made previously so announced at the market equity program and you can kind of go over that there for yourself or else go to the uh, Oxley website back on the uh, 24th embrace the unexpected collab project launches first MJ concentrate with a 232 series diamonds and this is the uh, article that uh, I'm going to go over. Oxley receives conditional approval to graduate to the Toronto Stock Exchange. So I told you you'd need your uh, gown and cap on for this one. So, 
Uh, Oxley's industry knowledge, a proven track record, and their strength and diversity diversity of expertise made us not only want to work with them but be part of them. Andrew Robbins, Robinson Robinson's MJ. As you can see this one's out of Toronto, Ontario. And I would recommend if you're interested in this one to uh, go to oxley.com yourself and uh, check it out. Uh, this is just the group stock forecast price and news. Um, as you can see here is an international MJ company which provides MJ products to the medical, wellness, and adult use markets. The company was founded in uh, 1987, headquartered in Toronto. Here it kind of goes over the industry sector and symbol. Uh, feel free to pause and uh, go over that information or else you can find it on uh, marketbeat.com. Uh, annual sales of 6.29 million, so it's kind of a smaller company. Um, as you can see, their uh, net income. So, a lot of the uh, MJ stocks that I've seen, um, some of them do have debt. They're not totally profitable yet. Um, in time, um, I'm optimistic about these, so in time, I feel they will be uh, profitable. And um, like I said, these are a long term play for myself. Um, here kind of goes over some miscellaneous outstanding shares market cap so kind of a smaller market cap uh, so like I said uh, if you look at these like you're uh, getting in on the uh, ground floor um, I mean you never know what this uh, could turn into so uh, next earnings date is one to put on your calendar of 5521 uh, that's actually uh, Cinco de Mayo and So not only can you uh, party for uh, Cinco de Mayo, but if the earnings uh, turn out good, you could uh, do a double party. So uh, I don't know if uh, Canadians uh, practice uh, Cinco de Mayo or not. Uh, a lot of the people do here in the uh, States. I think it's actually just another reason to party, but uh, uh, that's besides the point. But uh, Oxley receives conditional approval to graduate to the Toronto Stock Exchange. And as you can see, this is just dated yesterday. Uh, it's a little bit over uh, 24 hours ago. As a uh, le leading consumer packaged goods company in the MJ products market, is pleased to announce that it has received conditional approval from the Toronto Stock Exchange TSX to graduate from the TSX Venture Exchange and list its common shares on the TSX. The conditional acceptance to graduate to Canada's largest exchange is a significant milestone for Oxley, said Hugo Alves, CEO of Oxley. After an incredibly successful MJ 2.0 launch last year and our strategic expansion into MJ 1.0 in 2021, we believe that uplisting to the TSX is the next logical step in our corporate growth. By raising our profile in the investment community and enhancing the liquidity of our stock, we will be able to broaden our shareholder base and continue to build long-term shareholder value for our investors. Final approval of the listing is subject to the company fulfilling certain standard and customary conditions required by the TSX, the company expects to satisfy all the requirements and will issue a statement once a trading date has been confirmed by the TSX. Uh, upon completion of the final listing requirements, the company's common shares will be delisted from the TSXV and commence trading on the TSX under its existing symbol XLY. The company shares will continue to trade on the OTQX, OTCQX market under the symbol CWTF. So it goes over a little bit more about uh, Oxley, dedicated to bringing innovative, effective, and high quality MJ products to the medical, wellness, and adult use markets. Oxley's experienced team of industry first movers and a enterprising visionaries have secured a diversified supply of raw MJ 
strong clinical, scientific, and operating capabilities, and leading research and development infrastructure in order to create trusted products and brands in an expanding global market. And you can learn more about the uh, website that we already went to. Uh, you can also follow them on Twitter, Facebook, and so on. There's the investor relations. And moving on, let's see if Reddit has any uh, good juicy details. A uh, month ago, month ago, uh, nothing uh, relevant to today. Here's a look at Stock Twitch. You can see it's currently trading at. Uh, 31 cents. Uh, so for those of you that trade over the counter, the ticker is CBWTF. Remember how annoying uh, Bitcoin pumpers and NEO. I'm sorry that helps me, but I hope all retail traders make some money. Oxley now is the lowest price flower on the market at $99 Canadian. That's 79 bucks US <laughs> for some 26% THC 2.7% terpenes fire. All vapes have been slashed at the lowest price on the market. Institutional ownership went from 3 to 14. Wow. Let's read that again. Institutional ownership went from 3 to 14% in the last five months. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, very good catalyst um, in my mind uh, they just announced an up list yesterday the writing is on the wall wait until Robin Hood gets their hands on this <laughs> and here's a canopy growth and Aurora oh it says RIP well, that's interesting hmm very interesting. That was uh, interesting writing. Oh, this is awesome. Wolf of Weed Street. <laughs> That's awesome. Other LPs will not be able to complete with Sunreens Online. Is the best play in the MJ sector. Get ready to start losing market share. Oh, competition. Well, that's good. Competition's good. Oxley now is the lowest price 1.0 and 2.0 offerings up list announcement yesterday one year cash runaway and domination on the horizon so definitely need to put this one on your radar and I've talked about Sundial here on the channel quite a few different times and I've expressed my feelings how it's uh, piss me off from a time or two and as you can see it's um, still kind of pissing me off testing that dollar it's getting closer to the dollar so when I first got into it that was my main uh, objective is to get it above a dollar and then it finally happened and uh, of course I didn't cash out but um, back to Oxley I'm for a hundred thousand and going big time long on patience is the key and just like I said, uh, definitely with these patience is the key with this rocketing sitting on the pad. A oh, rocket sitting on the pad. I read it wrong. Um, three years and 250 million later, <clears throat> it's finally online. First harvest was end of summer. So definitely one to watch. Everybody's bullish on it and picked up another, uh, some good information here on uh, stock twits. Uh, not only is it being uplisted, um, but um, everybody that I can see is bullish. $99 ounces on. So everybody's comparing it to uh, Canopy, Aurora, Sundial, Tilray. Now here's Wolf of Weed Street again. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That's a good one. One of the most undervalued uh, Canadian LP. They're smashing all expectations. Hasn't followed up. So as you can see here on Stock Twits, everybody's um, liking this one. Um, from what I've read about this one, I've uh, liked this one as well. 10,000 invested in Knoxley. 
when uplisted completed easy five times five years I am seeing a ten dollars I would not wait to load up at all hmm that's interesting as well so a lot of these uh, some people do dump ten grand into them from what I've seen uh, right now it's currently trading at uh, 30 cents uh, so you could uh, totally uh, load up on this one and um, oh, it went up a penny <laughs> since we talked about it but I first heard about this one from another uh, subscriber brought it to my attention and I uh, thank you for bringing that to my attention and I thank you to the other gentleman today for uh, kicking me in the butt and saying hey we need a uh, uh, update uh, no he didn't kick me in the butt but I have to kick myself in the butt from time to time uh, but again, that's it for uh, Oxley. If you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me. And if I miss doing an update on this one, uh, happy to put it in the comments and uh, say, hey, get off your butt and make an update. So that always helps. But uh, comments are always welcome. So uh, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, that would really help out the channel as well as hitting the bell so you're notified of when the next ones drop. And I thank you for all the support, comments, and uh, everything on the channel. And um, happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.